Yes, you have read the title and the thumbnail correct. I am quitting and I have already resigned from the content creator program. And I'm going to explain exactly why in today's video. So enjoy today's drama. Enjoy the fireworks. It's going to be a fun one. Hello guys, yes, smash like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy my content. My name's Mace the Sneaker and I do pump out videos every single day. It's currently Call of Dragons, but we are going to be switching that up in the future. And the reason is because we have unfortunately been removed into the apprentice level of the Call of Dragons content program. And the thing is, for me, that doesn't sit right. I'm just going to be honest. So what I'm going to do is just showcase this quick little message I received today and then I can explain everything a lot more easier. So this is the message I actually received this morning, obviously waking up, hoping to get my renewal of contract. Since you guys know, I've been an associate content creator for almost one year for the Call of Dragons devs. And you guys know I have put so much heart and effort into that role i have always you know put in guides for you guys operated in the call of dragons discord so you guys can see me and obviously like get interactions with a content creator you know i've always given feedback i've done testing i found out visual bugs i've reported bugs for certain raids and stuff i've done all of that guys i've done all of it right but all of this stuff I've done in the past isn't good enough, right? Because they're saying the video quality of my videos uh, is not good, which I find, again, hilarious. Because when you look at the actual video quality, my video quality is actually much superior to compare to a lot of content creators. The thing that they actually are trying to suggest here, and this is what they did state, but I can't showcase it, because they did kick me out of the Call of Dragons, you know, content creator Discord once I stated that I am resigning and I said good luck and, you know, good luck to everyone else because obviously I still want everyone else to have a good time and good luck with their journey. But um, I can't get those, in, you know, that, that fortunate, you know, talk. But in that talk, they did suggest, and this is how they, they were wording it, is more of the average quality of my videos, meaning the average views so my videos because they weren't getting 1000 2000 views every single day like they would want you know like cheese goal to do it's not good enough unfortunately even though i do so much for them even though i created free um special like guides and i've got the devs you know video technically but i made for them still on my drive and in my folders i can show and they've never once i'm just saying never once have they promoted any of their actual call of dragons content creators all that has ever been promoted in Call of Dragons history has been obviously Chizgo, and obviously we need to promote Chizgo. He's the big guy, but he's the biggest guy. Everyone knows who Chizgo is. Then we had Echo and Shinchi, and then we've had Omniarch, right? I think they're the only four content creator spotlights they've ever hosted. And the thing is, that is just kind of, to me, piss poor. If you have made a brand new game and you can clearly see there's me, Miawa, Hulkston Gaming, you've got Boss Nasty, like you can name so many, honestly, even guns, brand new out, YouTube guns, you know what I'm saying? All these brand new Call of Dragons content creators, but not once have they ever had an actual content creator spotlight. And the one thing that even made me kind of weirded out was the fact that like, the way you promoted the content creator like Hulkstern was by saying featuring him in a video, but I don't I don't see Hulkstern in the video. I don't hear Hulkstern in the video, which is weird. Like the whole purpose of it is to see my favorite content creator or hear him. I don't do any of them, right? So I don't understand any of this, right? Because if you have a content creator program, surely it is your job as the community content creators to figure out how you can promote your content creators as well as the game. Because if your content creators do really, really well, guess what? Your game's gonna do really, really well because your content creators are basically your free advertisers for the game. And the thing is, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, 
I got paid piss poor. Let's be real. I did not get paid as much as you guys think I get paid. Honestly, I was nowhere near getting paid as much as a lot of people assumed I would be being paid as a content creator. Because the thing is, if I was, I'm not going to lie, guys. I would have happily dropped the gold chests inside of the game so you guys could have enjoyed that. But they physically didn't pay as much as you think they did, right? So that's just on the video quality. Just think, all of that is on video quality. Now we're getting into the communication part. And the communication part, I find you can find laughable because I have been the most communicative content creator in the program. I have been the most given in feedback. I have been the most given, as I said, in bug reporting and finding issues in the game. I've been the most on giving feedback on how the community feels when you do bad updates. And I've even been the most vocal on trying to make, for example, the community devs and the Call of Dragons devs look less evil than they actually are, right? But guess what? It's all changing. It's all changing because I'm actually fed up with it because I have busted my ass off for over a year. Over one year for this Call of Dragons content program. I have numerously, guys, numerously asked them, what do I need to do to achieve a partner role in this company? I've always asked that. And they never, never, never give a response. Instead, they show you these bullet points that you need. And then one of the bullet points is literally states having over 50 or 250 subs or something stupid like that in the views, right? But then at the very bottom of this whole bullet points, they'll state, oh, but you do not need to meet all of the requirements in order to become a partner. But clearly you do, because in those requirements and any of the actual content creators that are watching this will agree, I hit every single one of them. And you guys purposely have now made me an apprentice based on views. And that is the one thing I hate. I actually hate that because the game as of now, and let's be real, the game as of now is not in a good place. The game is in a horrible place right now. And because the game is in a horrible place, the player base is obviously lowering and lowering and lowering. And because it's lowering and lowering and lowering, guess what? The viewer base is lowering, lowering and lowering. But they don't understand how trends actually coordinate and go next to each other, right? They don't understand how this a impacts B at all, right? It, it's it's crazy to me. So what we're going to be doing though, as you can see, I'm going to go over some other bits that they've purposely said during um, why I'm not going to be a, an associate content creator anymore. And I'm going to kind of showcase and laugh at how hypocrisy these guys actually are. So one reason I also have left, as you can imagine, the Call of Dragons content creator team is because of videos like this one above. Um, I actually hate the fact that the devs are such a hypo hypocritic, I can't even say it anymore. It's just so silly, right? And what I mean by this, as you can imagine, we have a video here by Chisgo, Game Dying, Call of Dragons. And he honestly talks about all the issues he has with the game and why you shouldn't be playing it and why he actually plays Rise of Kingdoms more and prefers the game still, right? Even though he will still stay the combat in Call of Dragons is fantastic. And it is. That's why we all play. Let's be real, right? But it's okay for a big content creator like Chisgo to post a video like this. But it's not okay for myself to post any sort of drama video. And this goes as well to all of the other content creators. This is what is so baffling to me. That someone with so much outreach and view is able to post basically bad advertisement and bad marketing on the game but then able to get away with it but then when we are just trying to post a drama fueled video in regards to for example what has been occurring in my season or in my alliance or whatever we're not allowed to post it because you guys think it's going to create bad publicity and a bad image and it might obviously do something bad to my channel but obviously the channel side the content creator understands we take that responsibility but then you start bringing in all this other stuff to do with the game and how you want the game to look so i don't understand the hypocrisy again on the numerous times and this is just one video there's so many videos where people are talking about um this type of stuff all the time so i don't get the hypocrisy in this right 
Also, what I don't like, and this is what I was uh, mentioned earlier, is the scams. I'm not going to lie, I feel very distasteful, and I'm not going to lie, I really did hate making yesterday's video. Yesterday's video, I hated to make, because the way the community currently has been treated, and I'm being honest, with the artifacts, right, with the new Mirage Orb, the way you guys have been actually handled, it's a joke. It's actually a joke. You guys got absolutely scammed. And then when you got scammed and then you told the devs, the devs had to go, oh shit, oh shit. And then they had to rebuff it back to the original. So it wasn't even like they buffed it from, you know, the 2,000 or the 3,000 damage all the way up into, you know, the like 4,500 damage. They literally just reverted everything back to originally how it was, which is just crazy. It's just absolute manic that we're living in a day and age where a game where we as a player are investing money and we are spending money to help develop the game we don't get any input we really don't we don't get any input shadow nerfs and shadow bans and shadow fixes all get implemented in the game without us knowing and then they tell us 24 or 48 hours once they get caught from the community it's just not happening and as you can imagine with the mirage orb with to be honest the last couple of months on the call of dragons game which i am going to make a video on as well on how i've honestly not been enjoying the fact that we've been going backwards we're not been going forwards we go one step forward and two steps back and that's literally how it's felt for the last three seasons and i've played this game for over 500 days guys I am one of the longest content creators, one of the longest players in this game, right? 524 days. I've played over a year, right? And it's insane how bad the game currently is. And when we are, and especially myself, when I'm suggesting things to the devs and they don't listen, they don't reply, they don't give you any sort of feedback, they don't bother to give you that open communication, they wonder why the game is where it is. So unless they get a new team and maybe a new team contacts me or maybe, you know, I become part of the team, who fucking knows? Who knows? Because at this rate, it's actually ridiculous. I'm going to be honest, right? So that's going to be my video on it all. I am quitted. Yes, I have quit the entire Call of Dragons community's um, content creator program. I am my own being now, meaning I can swear, I can do what I want, I can show what I want. I don't have to worry about, you know, any repercussions about my contracts because I don't realistically have one anymore. I'm just doing this all on my own. So if you really do want to um, support me, guys, and you really want to show the devs, you know, the big L on them, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share this video about, let's get this video easily over 1,000 views or 2,000 views if you really feel adventurous, right? And show the devs like literally how bad they have messed up by removing one of their most popular, loved, and honestly passionate content creators from the program from their silly decisions that they would not even try to you know redo or rethink about after having any sort of talks so with all of that i hope you guys enjoyed the video smash like comment and subscribe i am going to do more color dragons content but on my own whim and i'll be also covering other games so until then smash like comment and subscribe stay safe stay sneaky peace out